Great. Um, hello, everyone. We have Gauri with me. She cleared PMP on 18th of December. I think this is a very interesting day. Uh, many people cleared on this date uh, with uh, PMP. So she did a hard work for last couple of months and she hated it successfully. Definitely, there are a lot of ups and downs, a lot of pain areas. There is no smooth ride here. Uh, however, it is uh, the success always gives it energy. When you see a success like this after 20 years or 10 years of an academic life, uh, that that joy is different in the sense of, okay, I'm still active. My brain is supporting me. Right? <laughs> That's a yeah. good, good thing. So once again, congratulations to Gary for this wonderful achievement from Sri Learning. So Gary, if you'd like to talk about where you started your journey and a little background about your experience of which domain you come from, that will help a lot. Okay, sure. Uh, like I have around uh, 12 years of uh, experience. I started off as a developer in a shipping and uh, logistics company. Uh, then I was working in a projectized uh, company, Entity Data. And uh, then I moved to US and here I was working as a business analyst. Uh, but like past few months, so, like I was not working. Okay. Okay, so now, um, so how does PMP thought triggered for you? Who, who pushed you? Uh, mainly my husband uh, pushed me. Okay. And uh, like actually uh, I was working as a business analyst. So uh, like I was into uh, kind of program management. Mm. And uh, like now uh, when I was uh, preparing for my uh, interviews and all, so uh, it was like uh, uh, like technical stuff I knew, but uh, when it was coming to uh, like strategy and uh, like application of uh, the things, like I felt uh, that I am uh, lacking there, but like I need to uh, like uh, have that uh, background, like if, like just knowing the technical stuff is uh, not enough. Like I could, I was able to get that feel. Mm -hmm. So uh, like while uh, discussing with my husband, uh, like mm -hmm. I'm, he pushed me into it. <laughs> and uh, like in LinkedIn, uh, like one of my friends from Bangalore, uh, she had uh, cleared uh, and uh, that's how I got to know about you. And uh, like I, till that point of time, I had no idea of PMP. And you had just, uh, you told me, uh, like looking at my profile and my TV, you said, oh, no, no, you go for it. And uh, I was like, uh, and then I spoke to uh, Rahul as well. And I asked him so many questions, so many questions. And he was like, I can't answer so many questions. I will, you please talk to Mr. Shiram. <laughs> And I remember, like, I was explaining you so much about, like, the way interviews are being asked and, uh, like, I was telling you, see, there is a lot about uh, program management and I want to study this and all. But you just told me you first do PNP and then we will discuss uh, later, like, uh, what else uh, you should do. You first do PNP. And I was like, what, like how should I do PNP? I don't know anything. Like, I'm a complete blank slate. Like, mm -hmm. I remember. And then you were like, uh, you are thinking so much. You are taking so much time. Like, uh, you better uh, take some more time and then just do, don't do it right now and then maybe do it, uh, think more and then do it later. Like, and then like kind of it triggered me all the more. Like, why is he telling me don't do it now? Like, uh, it's not. <laughs> okay. Kind of it became, I became a little more rebellious. Like, why is he telling me that uh, it's not, uh, if you if you don't find it, you are cup of tea, like, don't do it now. So I just thought, okay, no, no, I will do it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like kids, right? Kids, you say, don't eat it now. They say, let me eat me now. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, it wasn't that phone call only. I just decided, like, I was like, why did he tell me that way? Like, don't do it now. <laughs> So like and uh, like I was thinking so much because uh, like uh, before that also it has happened uh, many times with me like I have taken all, uh, quite a lot of decisions in Josh and then you know uh, like I have not pursued with them so I didn't want uh, the same thing to happen this time as well 
and uh, like uh, last year it has been uh, like very rough for me on the personal front a lot has happened on the professional front as well mm. so uh, like i like i was that's why like i was not uh, sure about it and like i didn't like i was uh, like already there were many things going on and i didn't want to add the more stress yeah, by, yeah, by, yeah. by doing this or by taking this yeah. decision yeah. i didn't want to add up to the things right i see many people um they uh, what gauri was said is right uh, many have a rough uh, timeline in their life and they come as a remedy to this course so i generally recommend people to do this and clear it so all the problem you face in your life will go off and you will feel a new energy when you complete this because what happen is you put your heart and soul in this exam and you focus everything you forget everything in your life and you clear it then you will feel my god new life is starting so that's the reason i feel this exam of leadership and people thought process when you cross you will be a new way that's why i enforce you okay then go ahead what happened after that yeah <laughs> yeah and then i was like okay like as it is uh, like uh, i like i am at a position wherein things have already gone quite uh, wrong so i think like let's do this also as it is like nothing much is happening no <laughs> so <laughs> so at least uh, i want to have that feeling that okay i didn't give it a try before this because the friend uh, with whom i had spoken uh, she told me that at least you will need a uh, three months like uh, peacefully mm. to do it mm. and uh, but like i was having time so i was uh, like sure about that okay I, at least in a stretch i will be able to give those four to five hours dedicatedly mm-hmm. so i just thought okay if i'm have if i'm able to dedicate that time then why not like if better um, instead of you know stressing about other things in my life better make some good uh, use of uh, the time so you know without uh, thinking about uh, like okay what will happen whether i'll be able to study yes or like i didn't think much about it like i didn't keep on dwelling over it i just uh, thought okay no i have to uh, like i, I will just uh, give it a try that's it like and uh, like i uh, like uh, then i started attending uh, the classes for, uh, in your october batch and uh, it used to be like morning 5:30 am for me 5:30 to uh, 9:30 am i started waking up early and uh, i really used to look forward uh, for those uh, weekends i really used to have a good time great and uh, then i uh, started uh, like uh, reading also simultaneously and uh, kind of i was really uh, liking it and I'm, i was uh, enjoying uh, whatever i was uh, reading right good good see this book this knowledge is not only for corporate uh, after some yeah. time reading it you will feel that man why can't i use it in my personal life so you will start feeling something good um, i like this content it has a lot of uh, psychology impacts in that it has a lot of good uh, decision making happens so that's a good thing here great so um, how was it on the exam last one week before the exam what was happening what was your preparation <laughs> it was crazy like uh, in my mocks uh, i scored uh, like i scored decent i would say and uh, but uh, still i was feeling that uh, i need to do more i need to uh, like i was not uh, getting that satisfaction like especially about uh, like when i gave uh, mock 7 mm. uh, i scored the uh, 75 in my other mocks i was scoring like i scored around uh, 78 but uh, in mock 7 and like i gave that like mock 6 and mock 7 i just gave within a days gap like so mm. i was completely exhausted the uh, by mock 7 so, but i was like i could like uh i was completely exhausted so i was just thinking uh, like whether this is really enough i have uh, like so uh, i was really uh, bugging rahul that this 75 i don't think so it's enough i sh- like by the time mock 7 i should get 80 plus like mm-hmm. <laughs> and rahul was like no ma'am i'm telling you this is really uh, good score you just go ahead you just go ahead 
uh and the main thing was like i was i had not read the uh, pin pinbox but uh, while reviewing i had started reading pinbox and yeah. like i was like i want to read more i really need that time uh, to read more but uh, i didn't have uh, time but uh, as you said like i was totally following uh, you and rahul without applying more my like i was not applying my brains a lot like i was like you guys know it so you know instead of for uh, applying my own self like i was just listening to uh, both of you so i just uh, as you said that uh, while uh, reviewing whatever the uh, film box uh, you are able to read just read uh, that much so exactly i was uh, doing that uh, and uh, that's how like i completed uh, my reviews especially mock 6 and 7 i reviewed uh, very well Mm-hmm. and i think uh, that helped me like first three months uh, i was just uh, i was uh, looking at the way i answered and uh, like what wrong i did but uh, mock 6 and 7 i exactly i divided uh, my wrong questions by knowledge areas and uh, then i analyzed my wrong questions like i analyzed those questions why did i interpret them uh, wrongly wrongly like mm-hmm. and what were the keywords uh, i was missing so oh. i made a lot of questions uh, which i which i was doing silly mistake like mm-hmm. where i was missing the word like least likely or like where mm-hmm. those things when you uh, miss uh, when you're reading quickly so i made a list of my silly mistakes as well Mm-hmm. and then uh, made a list of which questions i was missing the keywords mm-hmm. and then i by reading those only questions i started uh, getting uh, the uh, like uh, i started uh, seeing that pattern of where i'm missing the keywords like i was able to like in the exam then i was able to like quickly link with the keywords like i could understand that good good you got that so was it a center based exam or online exam at home no it was a online exam why you chose an online exam uh like there was no center uh, available <laughs> when i had to book still i booked my exam in advance i booked by around uh, 31st of october uh-huh. and still in uh, us uh, like in crt there are three centers but uh, none mm-hmm. of the centers they had availability from february <laughs> Is January it's blocked? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was I called them up also and I checked, uh, but they said like because of COVID, uh, they are operating at a very less uh, capacity, and uh, that's why like uh, it's not available. Got it, got it. So uh, tell about the experience of online exam. Uh, was it smooth? Um... Yes, it was completely smooth. Okay, great, great. and what kind of verification they do when you want to start the exam uh we get a link on the phone when we check in and uh, we have to send them the first send our own pic and uh, upload that and then uh, send the <coughs> the picture of the room like your left side right side the background and the front side and uh, once uh, that is done they verify they match everything and uh, then after 10 minutes so uh, you can start the uh, exam like uh, i had a uh, message to my proctor saying that i will have to bend a uh, little bit because i had to put on the heater like the temperature over here is like 1 minus 1 so it was like uh, very cold even in the room itself so like i was telling him that i have a space heater beside me and uh, it's at my arms distance and i will have to put it on and off So he was like completely fine with it. I showed him the way also I will be doing it. Uh, just uh, once uh, he had the uh, ping me saying that you know I just can't go very far uh, from the camera. Like he should be able to see my uh, face uh, completely. And I was like I was uh, in some <laughs> I was reading something else and it didn't strike me that I moved. And then he was like uh, that's okay. Like uh, just be careful about it. And uh, then, like it was completely uh, yes. So, I felt as if as if I was giving a prep class uh, exam. <laughs> okay, okay. How much time you took to take this two hundred questions overall? Um. Yeah, I took uh, like I I just had like I think around uh, 
five to six minutes left. I felt my exam was uh, on the tougher side. Like oh. I, yeah, everyone like in the success stories I had heard that you know it is easier than prep cast, but uh, I didn't feel it. Like I felt it at the level of or a bit more uh, tough. Uh, then uh, mock seven actually. <laughs> okay, yeah. I remember. Also, once we did a para sailing. Okay, all my friends went for the para sailing first and came down. And this guy said, "Man, it's very smooth. You will enjoy it. Nothing that." <laughs> when you go on the para sailing, you start feeling, "Oh my God, this guy lied to me." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, yeah. And uh, like my first eighty nine questions also like I won't say they were very difficult they were okay like they were not uh, like that difficult as well they were I would say they were uh, moderate till I could uh, I complete them in like around uh, one forty minutes uh -huh. and uh, but then I took and I got a critical path uh, like network diagram seventy nine question not seventy nine eighty ninth question <laughs> that was my <laughs> and I was so irritated. <laughs> Why now? <laughs> totally bugged. Like I was like I wanted to take a break, and they have given me a network path. <laughs> huh? Like I didn't want to spend that time, and then but like I had no option. I because if I was like if they have given me a free float or a calculation, then I was going to skip that for sure. But um, uh, it was just calculation of the critical path. Do you need to so draw I, it, or how you did the calculation for critical part? I did draw it. My husband had ensured that I am able to use whiteboard uh, quite ah. efficiently. Ah. So, like uh, before, uh, like the exam two three days, I was practicing it. I was timing it, and I was practicing it. Like I had informed you, right? I was struggling in uh, prep class. So where you uh, practice? In which one you practice? I uh, in the on the Pearson side only they have that uh, whiteboard so uh -huh. I was practicing on, yes. on that simulation is there already you can go there and practice it. Uh yes on uh, like you can use the same whiteboard during the uh, prep class as well. But Where? in prep class I was really uh, struggling so like I two three days before I was timing and I was doing it. Very good. So, Very. Good. That but uh, still, it took uh, like, because in the exam, like I was initially, I uh, I had I was knowing where is the whiteboard, but on that eighty nine question, I was bugged, so I was not finding the whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so break was it useful? Yes, very useful. Okay, you went to kitchen, had a good coffee, tea, and then you came back. Yes, uh, my husband had kept uh, breakfast ready for me. Wow. I had a chocolate also. I had quick coffee and I. So breakfast. Your main. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's interesting. When you came back, uh, did you took a whole ten minutes or lesser than that? Oh uh, no, I took complete whole ten minutes. Like I came back in the room, like there were two minutes left, but I was nicely sitting on chair and like I was relaxing. <laughs> that's good. That's good. Uh, how is it next? A hundred and eleven questions. Oh, uh, they were also. I would say, uh, like uh, they were quite difficult. I would say mm -hmm. because uh, there also, like it was like six, seven questions. Uh, not questions were okay. But uh, like the options were very Choices. confusing. Choices. Yeah, so like six, seven questions used to be that way, and then one direct question. Like it was oh. mixed kind of a thing. See, why so it questions, uh, hmm? is it lengthy questions? Do you felt so, that? Uh, the length, I would say, okay. Some were like two, three lines. Some were shorter also. But even though a question is shorter, uh -huh. the options were extremely uh, tricky. Like uh, especially, I would say, uh, resource uh, communication and the uh, stakeholders. Like, oh. Wherein uh, there are interpersonal skills. Like options were extremely close, and like they were combined: resource, communication, and stakeholders. It was all combined. So that part I found tricky. Like I lost my fifth eighty there only somewhere, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. like by the time it was one uh, fortieth question, I was remembering Rahul. He like he was telling me like in Sri Learning, whoever in the prep class have scored uh, seventy five and above has never failed. And I was like, I don't want to be that one person. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it's a, it's a added pressure now <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh God, on that one fortieth question, like I was like, oh God, these options are so similar, and I don't want to be that one person from Sri Lanka. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a pressure. Okay. So now, uh, tell about the agile question. Did you felt something peculiar? <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, like and a day before exam also, like Rahul messaged me and he told me, ma'am, have you read uh, this agile uh, guide uh, from the PIMBO? Mm. I said, no, I have no idea about it. I didn't even know there is an agile guide in PIMBO. <laughs> so he was like, no, from last two days, uh, people are saying, whoever, like they are getting agile questions. Mm. And But uh, like, as you said, I somehow I didn't panic, like last, the day before that last day I was like in panic mode that time also I had messaged you and Rahul like you know I don't know this uh, somehow I'm feeling nervous a lot <laughs> but after that day like I was like it's I didn't think again like I didn't I had shut down my brains I didn't think a lot I was like I just have to go so last day I was comparatively I was better so I was like it's okay and uh, like on my prep guys group uh a person had a exam on the same day so uh, like that guy called me early in the morning like just before my exam and like th- even talking to him it really helped so he also explained me that uh, agile questions are there like from you also i think uh, seven agile questions are there but uh, they are manageable they yeah. are uh, easy yeah, basically, basically. and like if we have uh, given prep cards so i think uh, yeah. agile is uh, manageable right that's interesting okay so um when you press this last button uh, did you kept your eyes open or closed they were open <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are But, clear on your result you are comfortable you are going to clear the exam the no, actually till 140th question i was okay like 89 uh, i mean from 90th to 140 also i would say they were okay like they were moderate questions okay. like i was like okay this is manageable but uh-huh. again like 140 to 180 they were very confusing and like that time i had lost my confidence like and i was remembering rahul <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What if this happens? What if? What if?" So... <laughs> great, great, good to know, good to know. So after clearing, did you give credit to your husband for making that breakfast? For last two weeks, he was making breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Everything he was managing the kid. Okay, and that's it. Yeah, he was just told me yesterday that I hope you have not forgotten to cook. Please cook something now. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay after pmp i think uh, you need a couple of days to rest to sleep yeah 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 you should be i'm sure you yeah, sleep less night waking up early in the morning yeah. yesterday like i was really feeling so empty like i was telling everyone that i want to review my exam i want to review i want to see <laughs> <laughs> like i'm feeling that uh, i want to read what i have wrong, what wrong i have done like i i'm missing all that uh, thing <laughs> <laughs> that you can't do you can't see your questions it's over <laughs> that's it that's it yeah yeah have this joy and uh, enjoy this and let this give opportunity to us for you to find more jobs uh, because uh, getting certificate even though it's one part of it the next part is materializing it um, yeah but- Materializing is not always a money value. Uh, materializing is how we present ourselves in the market as per the demand, and uh, how do we implement what we learn? Uh, that's very important because uh, there are doctorate doctors in the market who are not a specialized doctors. They are okay doctors. They survive. Uh, there are some doctors who really go to the level of being very special in the market. it's only because of their passion only because of their commitment to keep learning continuously so what we do pmp is a professional certificate it's a professional so we should be able to tune it more only completing certificate will not help us certification exactly. certification shows you did it but now only your reading starts you have to open the book and start seeing more read more articles uh, those will help you anyway 
Pretty good. Once again, congratulations, Gauri, for coming up here. By the way, we didn't see your certificate, yeah? Oh my God, how do we miss it? Okay. Yeah, Maybe you saw it. We saw that? Okay. Maybe I want yeah, to see yeah. it. I want to see it. Did you, did you give your uh, husband credit in the certificate? You want to add his name here somewhere and tell that, hey? Definitely. Uh, <laughs> definitely. Actually, uh, like, even when I had started studying, like, uh, when I was uh, after uh, Sri Learning's classes, like he just saw me the way I was studying, and then he was like, "No, it's not going to work uh, for you. Like you better start studying from a book, like a physical book." And he ordered the uh, Rita book for me. Wow, like, so nice. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. yeah. You need to support in family. Um, I yes. can you say that this is one of the exam which you can't do on your own. You exactly. We need a backup. We need people around you. Moral support is very important. Yeah. And he was telling me you have studied more than what you have studied in your entire engineering. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could have studied more so much in your engineering. I know. <laughs> it's a kind of uh, positive comment. Let's take it in a positive way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great, Gary. Thanks a lot. I know it's pretty late in the night for you. Uh, it's a Sunday post pre-lunch for us. It should be 11, at 11 p.m. for you there in the U.S. now? Yes, 11 p.m. Okay. I appreciate staying late to uh, speak to us and give your inputs. And let these inputs help some of them who are preparing, who some of them feel. Uh, actually, a few inputs I would uh, just uh, like to uh, uh, emphasize more. Like, I would uh, like to say... Uh, especially uh, when uh, we are learning about uh, ITTOs news and techniques and when it is uh, like expert judgment, mm -hmm. I would uh, like to say like, please refer in uh, PIMBOK uh, that uh, there is after, for every expert judgment, uh, there is a two line thing that what is that expert doing exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, like for all, because expert judgment, uh, judgment technique is almost there for every uh, knowledge area. So in Pimbok, they have uh, mentioned for that every knowledge area, like what he will do if he's an expert from uh, procurement, mm -hmm. what he will do if he's an expert from cost. Mm -hmm. So I, because I had got many questions uh, uh, specific to that expert judgment, mm -hmm. like what is he exactly going to do? Like, why do we need that expert judgment? Because we tend to ignore it. Okay, expert judgment, we know that's a technique. Right. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. And yeah, and another one uh, thing is like again regarding uh, tools and uh, techniques only. Uh, that there is a in Pimbok, uh, I think there is a page uh, six eighty eight onwards. They have mentioned all the tools and techniques, mm -hmm. and uh, there is a table for that knowledge area. <laughs> Uh, so there uh, actually we get to know okay this is conflict management it is used in uh, stakeholders as well communications as well and in which processes mm -hmm. so once we see that okay it is used in stakeholders as well as communication then we start uh, making sense about it why it is used in stakeholders and why it is used in communication Makes sense. and in which uh, process like so in uh, that, like I did that just a day before my exam, mm -hmm. but uh, like I like I think if someone has time, they should really spend more time on it. Mm -hmm. and because now, like once we read uh, Rita, we or any uh, book, we get to know the basics of the stuff. Right. But uh, I think uh, like looking at the difficulty of exam and the confusions, uh, like I think we about the tools and techniques, we need to go. Uh, a level bit in detail, like especially uh, these uh, things which are uh, confusing. And again, like I had uh, many questions uh, related to risk also. So uh, like especially the keywords exactly for risk mitigation, ah. risk transfer. So mm -hmm. like I would say just figuring out uh, those things a uh, level more in detail. Uh -huh. Okay. That's valuable inputs, Gary. I appreciate it. And really, these inputs will help people because some don't know where to go and read what to do. So, very good. Fantastic. And any any don't you have? Hey, don't do this, guys. It's not uh, useful. Or don't do this. It's a mistake. Uh, don't. Uh, I would say uh, like uh, review. I think uh, reviewing uh, just uh, don't uh, review. I would say 
questions uh, like okay i would say just don't do 1 to 200 right okay this is right this is wrong this is right so while reviewing really divide it and then do it mm. that is i feel while reviewing that is the technique uh, we should uh, follow mm. Okay. Because yeah. I realize the difference between my first three and the last two marks. Like mm -hmm. reviewing means you have to group it by process or knowledge area and then review it. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. and uh, like I realize and yeah, regarding stakeholders and communications, those were the for as like you thought they were the first chapters. Even I read <laughs> head first and all when I scored like I scored eighty and ninety, mm -hmm. but after. Uh, my mock number seven. When I again saw, like I was literally struggling. I was not knowing anything. I like I realized I'm not knowing anything from my uh, stakeholders and communication. Because and I at a point of time, like I was frustrated because every my answer I used to just uh, mark the answer manage stakeholder engagement. Like I used to feel that is just one thing. Like that is the answer. I was not able to figure out the differences. Like and. Yeah, <laughs> it's a tough area. But, look like easy, but a tough area. I I say I say that is the toughest mm -hmm. stakeholder and communication. And I'm looking at the exam also. I feel because I think uh, risk, cost, and everything they are concepts. Like you just have to understand the concepts, and mm -hmm. like you can definitely. Manage. In fact, for me, I think change management also. Like I felt the uh, it was straightforward. Like once you know that flow. It is extremely straightforward. You know the do's and the don'ts. Even the right. options were not that confusing. Right. But stakeholder and communications, <laughs> I like. I am fearful of that. <laughs> okay, that's where the leadership thing comes inside. <laughs> Tough area. The yeah. three areas which even you read n number of times, it will confuse. One is stakeholder, communication, resource management. This, exactly. This yes. And I lost my last eighty there only. What are you? When you struggle there, it's a tough area. But looks like. And in the beginning, we don't come to know that we are going to struggle. Like from after reading head first, I was like, oh my god, this is so simple. <laughs> this is how many people struggle in the company as a project manager. <laughs> that is a, yeah the toughest area <laughs> to handle people. Yes. Yes, yes. Thanks, Gauri, for coming up here today and giving a lot of inputs. Uh, let this video help many people, and uh, I'm not sure it's going to be a good success path going forward for you, right? Yeah. Great. Thank you so much. I really, really owe it to you and uh, Rahul as well. And they, like Rahul was telling me, I knew it. You're going to clear. I knew it. You're going to clear. I was like, I hope I don't want to let you down. <laughs> It's it's a way of putting pressure on you. <laughs> and yeah, I wanted to ask you, like, why the exams of tree learning are so tough? Like, and especially the exam on Sunday, it was like so <laughs> tough. And I didn't give it on Sunday, like, and I was like, okay, I I know it is going to be tough, but I'm not so I'm not going to give it. I don't want to lose my confidence. <laughs> Then. On uh, Monday, uh, like on again Tuesday, I gave the PMI mock again, and it was as my second time. I felt it extremely easy PMI mock, mm -hmm. so I was like, this is not challenging. So as a challenging thing, I did uh, okay. Let me do Sri Learning exam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so the first is something like this: uh, learning uh, should be good. At the same time, we don't prefer pampering people. Um, it could be of a subject you're taking classes will be strenuous, and writing habits you have to follow every day, yeah. and reading these are the books you have to read, and practice questions could be also be tough, because we are getting into a leadership track. We don't want to pamper you, feel you so good, and when you go to real market, you'll be smashed out. Rather, yeah, you... I know, but at least it would be. It should be. We have been some confidence working little bit at least. Like no. at least <laughs> this was horrible than Prakast. <laughs> and I gave it on Tuesday. <laughs> I was shattered. <laughs> it, it, to make you prepare for an Olympics game and make you play in Asian games. So that's the intention. But again, yeah, we chose in certain tough uh, questions to make you to think in multiple dimension. When the exam is yeah. happening, you know, people they started getting smoke out of them because the question is more tough. Yeah, exactly. 
but i could again uh, saw my two very good uh, like peculiar mistakes like i could see okay they are asking for a interpersonal skill but uh, i am uh, marking a technique like brainstorming but wherein uh, interpersonal skill was asked facilitation like i could figure out that uh, difference and like i was like okay this is my mistake i should be careful right did you learn fast right super thanks a lot now catch up good sleep i appreciate your time and good wishes keep going high all the best thank you thank you so much